hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how you can use open ai api to perform different tasks related to image audio and text so let's get started so i am on my open ai uh, platform and i am at this point inside api references and i suggest you to go to this page and read more about uh, different api endpoints available on uh, open ai also you can go to uh, view api keys and download api key for your use make sure you don't share it with anybody you don't trust cause it is very sensitive information here uh, there are different uh, sections authentication making a request and then uh, models chat completion edit image embedding audio and moderation these are the few things uh, that we are going to look so for authentication you need to uh, provide this kind of authentication i'll show you how uh, you can achieve that and then you can make a request uh, either curl request or you can use uh, packages there are two packages available for python and node.js you can install them and you can use uh, those packages to make all the requests and perform tasks on model chat completion and stuff like that so uh, these two things uh, using open ai python package and node.js package is coming on my youtube channel so make sure you stay tuned on my channel so yeah we are talking about uh, authentication so for authentication you need to pass bearer and open ai api key and then you can make request like this so let me show that to you so here i am inside my uh, insomania it's a kind of uh, api uh, testing mechanism uh, you can use postman as well so i am inside my open ai folder and i have created a subfolder for all the tasks and i'll show you uh, how to create one request so inside this model folder i will create a new http request and i'll call it uh, get all models we will retrieve all the models in order to perform that task we need to go into model section and it says that list models so it says that get request to this endpoint will fetch you all the models so i'll copy that i'll paste the url here now if i send the request it will say that uh, you did uh, did not provide an api key so in order to provide the api key i'll go to auth section here bearer token and my prefix is bearer and here i'll provide my api key so let me do that and come back again so i have provided my api key into this bearer uh, dialog box earlier we have seen that so now i'll hit send and now you can see the status is 200 okay and indeed we got all the models here okay uh, you can see there are 53 different models available now uh, this is how you can make a request next let's look into retrieve a model so in order to retrieve a model uh, again you can get the same information from here that this is the endpoint and you need to provide a valid model name so i can make the request and you can see we got the response in case if model name is not available we'll see different uh, result that the model is does not uh, the model does not exist okay and if the model is there we will see the information next let's see chat so for chat there is chat completion uh, you hit this endpoint now you can see that we need to make a post request 
and there are different parameters that you can pass as well uh, model and messages these two are required and uh, messages is a list of object containing role and contain uh, sorry content so here uh, i'm at create chat completion uh, i have provided the url and now uh, this data needs to be in json format so for that you select body and type json to pass the data and i can hit enter and yeah indeed we got the response and from this json body you can understand what part you want to access and from that uh, you can format your code uh, next there is a completion so for that uh, this is the endpoint completion so basically this is the base url and then uh, these are the different routes uh, in completion you provide model prompts and there are other bunch of parameters that you can tune uh, temperature max token and things like that a uh, number of responses as well so when i hit enter i'll get a response now there is a difference between completion and chat completion uh, doesn't have memory so you only provide the prompt so in case you want to create a memory you need to provide uh, that into a string format on the other hand uh, chat completion has a memory so you can append different messages here so let's say this was the first message then user has asked something and uh, system has replied with some things you can append those into messages list and then pass it along with the request to get the response so uh, completion doesn't have uh, clear memory we can however achieve that while chat has a clear memory and we can achieve that very easily next uh, there is edit so for create edit uh, what you need to do is that you need to provide input and instruction whatever instruction you provide that will be applied on the uh, input and the end point is edits so again this is our base url and this is our route edits so when i hit enter yeah uh, we got the response that what day is it and the uh, input what uh, input was uh, what day of the week is it and uh, the instruction was to fix the spelling mistakes uh, now let's look into moderation as well so there is a moderation api with which you can uh, you know moderate a piece of text whether it is toxic or not and the endpoint is moderation and you provide input and the value will be the text piece of text that you want to check moderation for and when i hit enter we'll see the response that yeah it is uh, violent it is flagged true and you can also uh, get the score of individual category as well you can see at violence uh, we see high score now uh, let me get you uh, to github uh, open ai samples there is a sample data provided by open ai which we can use to you know perform uh, different tasks so let me download those and by the way the link of uh, this data uh, is available on the description you can get it from there then there is this micro machine and finally this multi language so let's uh, go to image images has uh, three things a uh, create image image edit and variation so for create image what you need to do is uh, you need to provide the prompt then uh, how many different samples you want and then the size uh, let me uh, change back to 512 by 512 uh, there are three sizes available 
256 by 256 uh, 512 by 512 and uh, 10 uh, 24 by 1024 so when i hit enter it will uh, provide a url and if i click on the url hopefully yeah i think yeah now yeah you can see that uh, the image is generated next there is image edit now this image edit is a kind of a, a tricky part where you need to provide a, a few things a first prompt then input image and then a mask now if we go here and go to image and image edit uh, let me zoom in a bit you can see that the image to edit must be a valid png image less than 4 mb and square if mask is not provided image must have transparency which will be used as mask so when you provide image you need to make sure you uh, comply with this requirement otherwise you can provide a uh, image and then mask so let me do that so i will uh, provide the image first so this is original image uh, by the way let me show you this as well so uh, here in the body part you need to select multi-part form and then uh, the prompt uh, the value will be a nice duck then uh, there is an image as you can see this key image needs to be the file so I'll click here select file and choose my file so here in download this is my original image and let's look into those images so this is the original image and this is the mask and i want to replace this mask with something so what i want to replace this mask with is a nice uh, small duck let me write that as well then i need to provide the mask so again i'll choose a file and then i'll choose the file here that will be this mask and when i hit send it will take time yeah you can see the response is available and hopefully oh it's uh, creating suspense uh, you can see that uh, the mask is now replaced by a small duck nice small duck so this is how you can use image edits next there is create image variation so for that uh, you need to go to images variation endpoint uh, you provide the image that you want to generate variations of a number of variation and size so i will uh, let me first uh, download this image and uh, sorry uh, save image as author into my download folder and i'll select that okay i'll select that so now i have provided that i want to create one variation and i hit send yeah this will create another variation so this is the variation this was the first image i think it is it seems flipped but yeah so this is the variation uh, so these are the three things you can do with images uh, then there is audio part where you can create transcript and translate a piece of audio into English uh, let's see first transcript 
so for that you need to go to audio and transcription uh, i'll select the model a uh, whisper one and file so for that we need to select the file we have downloaded that uh, this is micro machine and when i hit enter it will provide the transcript of the audio now there is a translate translation part uh, here in the translation part again uh, you go to audio translation you provide the model and file let me select the file as well uh, this is multilingual uh, this audio is in uh, german language and uh, the default action is to convert that into uh, english and provide the transcript however uh, i i read about this here and you can see the prompt says that an optional text to guide the model's style or continue a previous audio segment uh, i did not understand this uh, clearly myself uh, so i have tested it with different things like you know i am asking to uh, in german uh, to transcript into different uh, french language uh, but it doesn't perform that action it only uh, uh, transcript the audio and convert that into english uh, i am yeah i'm looking into this uh, so it doesn't have any effect if i keep it there as well so when i hit send it will uh, convert that uh, so first step will be transcript and then uh, uh, it will uh, translate that into english so these uh, two things you can perform in audio section and in case you are advanced you can get embeddings of uh, any piece of text and then you know you can use that embedding to generate uh, different response but uh, th that is a different uh, part and i'm not going to include that into this video but however i'm going to show you how you can get embeddings so for that you need to go to embeddings route and then provide the model and input and when you hit enter you will get the embeddings again all of this information you can get from here uh, which kind of request to make and what is the end point and what are different parameters you can uh, provide uh, one more interesting thing is that though there are uh, two packages open ai for python and open ai for node js uh, in case you have different programming language then what you can do is that from uh, this request there is a facility to generate code and there are different uh, bunch of uh, programming language supported so for example let's say java and uh, you want to use let's say java.net http then you can get the code for that and you can then modify this code into a function and you can use it so i hope uh, this is informative to you and you have gained some knowledge out of this video and in case you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace